Hi, I'm Ron Clark. Um, today, I want to talk about, oh, probably at least the next year of work that I'm going to be doing. I have decided that I am going to make another series of 10 radiators, and that will probably take me about a year to accomplish. I've made one already as sort of the prototype of what the new uh, radiator will look like. It has a very simplified box compared to the uh, container I've done in the past. So it's a little more discreet, uh, a little more compatible with um, just an ordinary box that fits into your uh, living environment without being too odd, too strange. So here is a visual presentation of the new radiator comes in a box, as I said, new box, which has the Emperor Tarot card, my version of the Emperor Tarot card on it, which is, of course, the letter He and Aries, um, which fits with the radiator, which who radiates Celtic brilliance. So, the box is quite different than the uh, last container that I did. As you can see, and the top and the lid of the box is also a stand for the radiator to stand on when it's taken out of the box. And the radiator is, of course, in the box. And the interior is felt lined. And there is at the very bottom of the box another little stand for the radiator to sit in when it's in the box. And on the underside of the lid, there is also a stand to secure the top crystal of the radiator when it's in the box. Stabilize it a little bit more for moving it about and things like that. So the lid goes back on top and then the radiator sits in the stand on the lid. That serves as sort of a knob to uh, grab the lid. And the design of the radiator itself is just a little bit different in the decoration of it. Um, in the past, I've always done a colored disc to represent each sephirot. This time I've simplified that um, and made it less a focal point by having um, a more subtle uh, color indication um, and, and <clears throat> as lines on the surface of each face. So, that is the new radiator. If the mechanism, the radiator itself, is exactly the same as the last radiator series that I did. Um, so, each one of these radiators will be, I will be selling for $700. That's a reduction in price from the last series. But hey, you know, uh, the more reductions in price we can have in the world, the better it would be right now. Um, I also have concerns about the affordability of the things that I make. But costs of everything have gone up for me, and, you know, I feel that uh, I want to make a certain amount for my labor. So each radiator takes a month to make. Um, so, there are uh, ten radiators, um, with this one that I have made, which I already have promised to someone, um, and there will be nine new radiators made. So, if you order a radiator, you will be put on the list, if there's more than just uh, one a month uh, being requested, that means there's going to be a waiting list. And, I don't know if it will grow or not. And so, that's $700 for it, plus um, $50 uh, shipping to help out on the, the shipping and uh, packaging expense. So, um, I was all set in my mind to announce just that today, and... Uh, be making just radiators for the next year. And then I got a shipment of new crystals 
from my friend in Brazil who found some good sized crystals for me to make protectors out of. And so, here is a little video presentation about those crystals and the protectors that will be made from them. Okay, here we are. These are the new crystals I've gotten from Brazil. And they are of various sizes, basically three sizes. The numbers one through three are about from four to four and a half inches length and a protector made from them will be $500 a piece. The next five are between five and five and three quarters inches um, and they will be seven hundred and fifty dollars for a radiator and the big one at the end is nine and three quarters inches long and that will be fifteen hundred dollars for a radiator now i'll show you each crystal a little bit more close up yes it's very nice crystal really quite beautiful now these little what are called hitchhikers i will probably probably remove for making the protector as long as it doesn't damage the overall crystal okay this is a nice fat one but again relatively short now so those are all the five hundred dollar ones these are the seven hundred and fifty dollar ones a little over five inches to almost six inches in total Yes, and the next one, again I'll be removing the little hitchhikers on the edges and cleaning it up as much as I can. Okay, this is number six, excuse me. Uh, these are very wonderful crystals actually. They're, they conduct energy like crazy. Uh, my little apartment is buzzing with energy from all these massive crystals. Okay, this is the one that's almost six inches. Again, I'll be removing the little hitchhikers. Or I may. We'll see. And then this giant one. Whoa, this is really impressive. It weighs probably a couple of pounds, maybe more. I don't know. I'll have to stick it on my postal scale and see what it weighs. Yeah. It needs to be cleaned up a bit. I think I can get some of the dirt off of it. But it doesn't matter. I mean, phew. Man, the energetic of this crystal is just absolutely amazing. We'll take a large obsidian sphere to accommodate that one. So, those are the new crystals and the new uh, protectors that will be available. I will have to make each one as, it, as they are ordered. So, expect delay of probably several months depending on where you get your order in and the order of it's first come first serve so whoever's first gets made first whoever's second gets made second so okay that's it for me so there is the possibility of making nine new protectors so you know these can be ordered the prices were, were there and then be $50 for each one and extra for shipping and um, packaging and all that. Um, 
Now, a protector took me about somewhere between two and three weeks to make, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I made a protector. Um, and they will be exactly the same uh, in, in appearance and uh, structure and ingredients, etc. Um, so, it's just a matter at this point of getting on the waiting list. <laughs> because I'll be taking orders for radiators and protectors. And it's really going to be first come, first serve. Uh, what, whatever that turns out to be. So, there is most likely going to be a waiting list. And it is most likely going to be for several months. Because it takes me, like I said, one month at least to make a radiator and box, you know, whole thing. And uh, I'd say average of three weeks to make a protector. So this is the next year or so, maybe two years worth of work for me. I need to grow, oh, six more hands <laughs> so I can do all these things quickly enough. Um, but it is what it is, and uh, I'll be happy to be put to work now. Uh, it's been a while since I've made things, uh, and it, it feels good. It feels good. So, that's the, uh, the news from Ron Land, from Ron Made uh, Land. So, talk to you. Oh. Um, my email is in uh, the uh, messages down below uh, this uh, video and in the description of the video. So my email is in several places. So just give me, drop me an email. Uh, we can talk about whatever you want to order. Alrighty. Bye-bye. <laughs>